Hi there, it's time for another art chat, painting chat, whatever you call it. I will be drawing the lines for another watercolor painting. It will be this guy. And if you can guess why I'm doing that particular watercolor painting, I am not going to tell you. If you can guess it, I will send you a free digital thing. So I will try to do my best to keep up with your comments, even though you will be upside down for me. And uh, start drawing. If you think I look tired, it's because I didn't get an app today. I had to go to the doctor's office and talk to him about my health and do a breathing cast and stuff like that. Now it's time for some drawing. Take off the cat hair. See if I can add him to this paper. Just doing a loose outline. Entirely sure where I want him to be on the paper, so I might have to erase. I don't want to erase too much, damage the paper. You could have the angle of the right at least. This will evolve and change as I paint it. So it's just a rough outline to place him on the paper. The sheep you saw is a ram of the breed Norwegian wild sheep. And that particular ram is called Sean, believe it or not, Sean the Sheep, but not the Sean the Sheep you used to see on TV. He's probably named after him. I have to move this horn a bit closer. I don't want his head to be as wide as a truck. As you notice, I'm using a regular pencil, nothing fancy, and no fancy eraser either. I do have them, but it's, I, I sort of like the regular old pencils, nothing, I sort of, I like the no fancy stuff, because it's easier to bring along. It's easier to find, so you don't have to go looking in some specialty shop for materials. And it's just pencil lines hereafter. So if you, when I do pure pencil drawings, I might use my set of drawing pencils, but for things like this, where I'm just doing an outline, I really don't need a special pencil. I don't think you do. Some people prefer them, but I keep it simple. And that's sort of my advice to those of you who want to bring out your creativity too, is keep it simple, make it easy. And it's more likely that you'll actually do it. Because if you're making it too hard for yourself, it's not going to get done. This sort of goes for everything, whether it's a diet or any other life change you're trying to do. If you make it too hard, it's not going to happen. If you make small, simple changes, you get it done. It's going to take. 
take a couple of tries to get this where I want it to be. That's just the way things work. The horns are looking okay right now, so try for the ears. I have very small ears. Oh shit. Maybe they're poking forwards. Like I said, it's uh, going to be a watercolor painting, so I'm just doing a light outline. And if you have any questions, just ask if you're watching the replay. Thank you for watching. Don't see anyone on here live right now. If you're live, remember to say hi so I know you're there. Because otherwise I can't see you. You have to s tell me you're here. I'll get an eyeball in here too. Cheek, the muzzle. Do you call it a muzzle on sheep? I don't know. I'm not that ver well versed in sheep anatomy. plan on keep, keeping up these art chats because I think it's fun to do. It's, you get to see a bit of my process. Plus you get to know me a little bit. That's part of the point. Hi there if you're watching. If nobody's watching that's okay too because I still get to do my art. Sort of the point of all of this to do my art, whether it's a commission or a different piece. Right now, I'm trying to promote a different kind of, com of commissioned work. I'm promoting spiritual or spirit animal paintings in a way. It's a painting of your inner animal, the spirit inside you. And it sort of it can remind you to be more, be yourself more, and stand out as the one you are, instead of trying to be, trying to be someone else. Larger. It's a challenge to do a sheep when you've never drawn a sheep before. Because there are parts you're not used to. Different thing drawing a horse or a bear because I've done those. easier. It's always easier to do things you're familiar with. But it's fun to challenge yourself. It's always fun to see if you can, if you're able to do it or not. So you have a bit of chin there. He's a very f hairy guy. So sort of the only details I can do are on the head. All the other details have to be made with paint because, uh, well, <laughs> hair is hair and there's no point
point in making lines for all the hair. Make sure to show you this one when it's done, but I'm not going to reveal what it's for. You'll have to guess. One person knows what it's for already, and she's not allowed to guess. So, Sibylla, if you're watching this, you're not allowed to guess <laughs> because you already know the answer. Wouldn't be fair to everyone else if you guessed. I'd love to hear what you want me to chat about during these chats because right now I'm just making up as I go along, talking about whatever comes into my head. And it would be nice to have a topic because then I can prepare a bit and you can prepare questions. So it makes it so much easier if you have a topic. So if there's anything you would like to ask me about, if there's anything you'd like to know about me, about my art, or about creativity, art, crafts, anything like that, feel free to ask. I can do another of those Q&As if I get enough questions to... I think it's going to be a pretty good sheet when I'm done. Just making some supporting lines here. Got some hair sticking up here. And just down there. And then there's wool. I'm not going to add the tags because I don't think they're pretty. They're practical, of course, those tags. Way they know who owns them. They don't look that good. My humble opinion, if there's such a thing. I'm usually not very humble with my opinions. I usually say it straight up. straight out what I mean and uh, some prefer that some prefer to get it sugar coated I prefer to get and deliver opinions straight up you might have seen some of those opinions on the blog lately there will be more of those to right too long that ear and or should it be a bit thicker up there it's starting to look all right don't know if you can see it on the camera so i'm going to bring you closer before i quit Let's see if you can see Sean, I can't even see what you see because the screen is just black from where I'm trying to look up at it. But I will be showing you the finished painting. I'll also be sharing some work in progress pictures on Instagram. You can follow me there as instagram.com slash lindarson if you want to. But those images will also show up on this Facebook page. Thank you for watching, thank you for keeping me company, and I'll be back next Tuesday with another of these, and probably a different picture.